The Elizabeth Butler Award honors one recent graduate who has shown exceptional promise in the field of social work. Nominees must have earned an AM or PhD not more than 10 years ago and no less than five. A successful candidate for this award will show a strong commitment to social change, leadership in an agency or community, creativity in non-traditional or innovative approaches to practice, or contributions to the field through research and publication, or demonstrated professional skills. Named after our luminary alumna, Betty Butler, a graduate from the class of 1946. I feel extremely honored to win the Elizabeth Butler Award because I came to SSA since it is an academic leader in the field of social justice advocacy. So having this institution choose my work and the work of my organization is a designation that what we do is strategic, that it's effective, and it's innovative. So I couldn't think of a better validation that our efforts are really doing what they need to do than the receiving of this award. Rachel demonstrates exceptional promise in the field of social work, first by the organization that she created after being here at SSA. Um, it's grown in the last five or six years that she's been in existence. But I think she's expanded just her initial uh, promise and mission to help those who are victims of sexual trafficking to encourage advocacy and laws. So in 2006 I founded an organization called the Chicago Alliance Against Sexual Exploitation and the mission of Case is Unique is that we really look at the root cause of why the sex trade exists, which is the demand predominantly for men to buy the bodies of vulnerable women and children. And so what we do to address the demand is we have a four-pronged strategy. The first is we have the country's only prevention curriculum for high school boys, where we help them understand the messages they get that construct masculinity a very certain way and how that relates to sex trade patronage and then what they can do to be part of the solution. Then we do work in engaging communities. We have a legal clinic where we represent victims against their perpetrators and we have a policy focus where we've been able to pass three laws in the past three years. The work that Rachel's doing is so important to the city of Chicago because I think a lot of us are just unaware of the sex trafficking problem that is occurring here in Chicago. Um, there's an enormous amount of trade going on uh, that we're even unaware of and, and many people are profiting from it. During my time at SSA I really was able to get a theoretical framework about how to effectively run a nonprofit and one of the things that was such a privilege about going to school here was having access to faculty that really are the leaders in their field and do best practices and so I was able to learn from them see what this would really look like in an actual agency and then they also influenced us to connect with other like-minded change makers to create community to leverage our work. Rachel is extremely passionate about the issues that are going on uh, with sex trafficking, just not here in Chicago, but as well nationally, um, by creating obviously her own organization. That's just one way that I think she's really demonstrated that she is uh, passionate in making that happen. She's incredibly supportive. She's taken on um, numerous uh, interns here from SSA. So she's really trying to kind of reciprocate the uh, experiences uh, and, and get that word out to young SSA uh, graduate hopefuls as well as the rest of the community. I always consider us building the next generation of leaders in this movement and many of those leaders come from SSA in the form of interns and so I get the privilege of staying connected to SSA through our SSA interns and just last year we started a case chapter on SSA's campus so our work is now being continued um, within this building. Key to the mission of SSA is this belief in working towards a more just and humane world. And I know that a world cannot be just when the bodies of vulnerable people are being sold for the profit of someone else. And so our work, which is to give voice to those who are most marginalized through policy and advocacy form, truly is working towards SSA's mission of a more just and humane society. I feel like I'm very much so a product of SSA because both of my grandmothers and my mother went to SSA. And so I was raised in a family where healing the world was always of value. And my grandmother had a saying, which is, with privilege comes responsibility. And that was kind of a mantra of my childhood. So growing up, I always had an orientation towards looking at the world in terms of what is my responsibility and what role can I have in healing it. And that was true as a very young girl. That was true in college and high school and now this is what I choose to do with my life.